how's it going? Nothing much. You probably know why we are here. We're here for three different things, I do believe. I don't remember. Number one, season two B. Oh yeah. There there is that coming out. Um Wait, what are your predictions after seeing the trailer? Shit, I didn't watch the trailer. Ah! Uh, fuck. I had screenshots. Let me fucking find them. <laughs> so, new intro. Nothing out of the ordinary except for... No, Ida. <laughs> that is true. There is a surprising lack of Ida in this uh, intro. Yeah, it is worrying, but again, like I can, I can try to make out Golden Guard or Kikimura's dragon in the background near the rocks, or it could just be the background creatures. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, hopefully they won't kill Ida. Someone has to die this season because Dana already said it is the darkest season. You know, dark doesn't mean death. Not yet, at least. Not yet, at least, yeah. Uh, Willow gets a new update. I, I don't know how that's, like, a big thing. That is true. We see Luce gets a helmet at one point. Like a whole new set of drip. Yeah. Then we see Ida, some type of plant. I don't know, that's so, probably from the loose plant glyph, maybe. Well, I'm thinking it's either she fighting the uh, plant uh, head or something like that, is my theory. Ah, uh, from the plant coven? Yeah, plant coven. Ah, uh, we... yes. I remember the Emperor's stupid rules and his stupid covens. <laughs> yeah, those are stupid. Then we have Imper Bellos uh, sucking some uh, Palisman's blood. Who do you think it is like a main, you know, main uh, character's, uh, you know, Palisman? Like, uh, fucking, what is his name? Hunters. Hunters or Alberts or Ghost. I don't think it's Albert's Palisman. I think it's probably just going to be a random one. I really think it's, it's either... either go hmm. It's either that, we're going to cement, like, edgy hunter time with, like, him sucking the Cardinal's blood. Yeah, I think it will be either Albert or the Bat Queen. Or they're, they're um, going to go to edgy, edgy Lord with Hunter fully. Oh, I forgot about the Bad Queen. The Bad Queen could die. Yeah. And we get a snapshot of Lucy Amity re reacting to something, but it could be anything, so... It could be literally from the last episode. I'm not even joking. But it looks like they're both in school uniforms. I don't know. Yeah. But look at no, the second are. screenshot with Amity and them. Oh, with, uh, with, uh, King's dad? There's multiple. There's oh, one it's on a three. string. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. So, we now know there's going to be multiple kings, or king-esque. No, no, you see, what, I, what I'm pretty sure, what this confirms, is that, uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, organ trail kind of situation. Explain. It's like it's like the it's like the organ trail, you know. Like Bellows comes in, just says "get out of here." Like King relocates, uh, King's dad relocates his entire like people. Mm. Uh, then we see Hunter get grabbed by something, probably a uh, willow, if I have to guess it. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's just uh, loose with a glyph. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure how much control she has over the plants that she spawns with the little glyphs. I think it's just like, oh, if you can think about it, it works. Because he uh, or Luce launched Hunter over the raft with a fire glyph. 
Yeah, yeah. Next one is going to be apparently a hoodie house monster thing, like where FZ Falls did with the Mystery Shack. Oh, yes. I told you we were going to have Hootie Mecca. I, oh, yeah, you did say that in the uh, review. I completely forgot about that. You said that. <laughs> now you think about it, you, I think Dana is just keeping tab. Huh? If you have a giant walking house, you have to make it move. Yeah. Uh, I think Dana is keeping tabs on us, considering one of the plot points, if you can see. So, Hunter's uh, cowl in that is, well, his normal cape is dark gray or white. That's his black cowl. <laughs> So that means he's going to Hexide. Ah, uh, yes. Probably so he can infiltrate the school on Uncle Bellos' orders. Probably. Oh, never mind. I actually found a better one. And then the last screenshot is loose with Ida's letter jacket thing. The sports jacket. Uh, well, honestly, she may die. Like that, that may be a death. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but I feel like it's too early. Like, it it feels like a cop-out. Like, you see her wearing that hoodie, and you think, yes, Edith's going to die. But, in, actually, I don't think she's going to die. I don't know, maybe. But I, I feel like, I feel like that, like, this may be, like, if she dies, I won't be surprised, but I will be upset. Yeah. In true hardcore fashion, who do you think will die? Mm. Well, we can't have the main character die, so that that's not it. It would like, be so funny if they actually kill off loose. If they kill off loose, that would be, that'd be such like a big brain play, you know? No one would think about it. But, uh, I feel like amongst people who would die, maybe Hunter? Maybe. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Hunter could die. I'd have, I'd have to, like, watch through the season to figure out who will die based off, like, flags and cues. Yeah. But other than that, maybe. Maybe Hunter. So we see in the first screenshot I posted from YouTube, ba -ba -ba -ba, we see little Ida. Yep, yep. So we'll see little Ida come back. We'll see little Rain. Do you remember Rain? I do remember Rain. I am really interested now in Rain's story plot, though. Then we see we Willow. See yeah, we see Lil. I think I feel like Lil. Actually, actually, I I already know who's like guaranteed to die, and that's Rain. Rain? No, I don't think so. Now, now, if we go below Willow, if you look at that and say that, yeah, I, I can definitely see that now. Because, like, think about it, right? They're gonna. It's gonna be a whole thing where they're like, we gotta save Rain, then Rain's just gonna die. Yeah. Then we see the Warden. I don't understand. I didn't like the Warden from Episode 1. I didn't like him from whatever episode he was in next, which I was thinking it would be, what, 19? Yeah, next to the end. Yeah, so Season 1 villain, he should have been gone. Then we see Baby Lilith. I I, I don't know. He has a grudge be ball. This goes in badly. We oh, see... we see Little Bellows! That's what I'm thinking! It's Little Bellows! But who knows? Can you scroll up to, uh, the Abomination thing? Now, I, mean I wonder... the thing with all the blue in it? Huh? You mean the thing with all the blue in it? No, uh, the Abomination, where it's like... Uh, for people standing in front of Abomination. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see, I see. So, it's Gus, Willow, Vanny, and Skara, which two of them are mostly background characters. One from Grom, where she was the- shut the fuck up, phone. Uh, where one of them was the person getting the harp- heart 
given to. I don't know if you remember that. It, it's not even a big detail. I believe I do, maybe. She she hung out with Basha in a few scenes, but that's a, that's really all her character is. Background character. But Vanny is the delinquent in the 14th episode where Luce goes to Hexide. Yeah, no, I remember that. That, like, I remember... Was that the girl with the fucking fish hook in her? Uh, yeah. Yep, I remember her. Uh, then we got Willow and Gus, and you already know who those are. Yeah. You know, Gus is my boy. Watch Gus die. <laughs> if Gus dies, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be sad. Also, Tibbles returns! Your favorite villain! Ah, uh, yes, Tibbles. Then we got some bitch screaming, then we got Hunter in the Hexide uniform. Oh, yeah. That is there. So, yeah, confirm. I just want to say that literally while working on my comic back in October of last year, in 2021, I wrote a plotline just like that. Motherfucker stole it. I'm, di I'm telling. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just funny though also Bellow's ceremony thing it looks like Rain is there the plant woman and Kiki Kimura where which is just the it's below Hunter's speedy right above Bellow's oh, blue see. holes man it looks like he'll probably yeah it looks like Rain's just gonna die there then it's either or he's being controlled by Kiki Kimura because look how he's standing. It's not like they're like, and now here's the uh, here's the execution of Whisper Rains. Rain whispers. I don't think he was executed because they need him for the plan. If they were going to execute him, they would have did it before. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Then Bellow says glowing eyes below that. Yeah. And then Lilith in like a new outfit. Ah, uh, yes. Lilith with like. I think that's like upgraded harpy form. Huh? I was talking about Lil. Oh, wait, below the other image, or. It's a little of so... loose talking to like oh, a dude. Oh, yeah. She still has the little like weird eye thing going on. So does Zito. Then we got Hootie surprised about something. Maybe someone died. Or maybe and then he just saw the bug. Huh? And then Tidy Bellows. Then Tiny Bellows, yes. Um, so, after seeing the screenshots, give me your thoughts about the next coming up. Well, you know, we know that someone's going to die, and that there's going to be a flashback arc. That much can be uh, determined. Okay. Uh, it seems like Bellows' mask is cracking, maybe? So we'll probably get some news about that. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me look down, let me look down. It also appears that the other important thing is, like, the little ceremony thing that Rain's a part of. Hmm. Which makes me think that Rain's either brainwashed, or, or, Bellows told him he was going to give, or, like, Bellows gave him a deal if he proceeded with the ceremony. That, that, that could be a thing. Or, or, here, here's another one. They erased his mind of everything Ida. That's probably that's probably what's gonna happen in the flashback. Because maybe if they get rid of Ida, they get rid of every re rebellion bone in his body. That is very true. Um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to find the uh, fuck. I'm trying to find the fuck. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So with all the screenshots, idea. The first episode that is premiering next week, mind you, is called Fools at the Coven Day Parade. Oh. I feel like a 90-year-old person because I feel like I do not know how a phone works, okay? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. 
Also, I didn't post the screenshots, but there's an explosion in the owl house. Gus firing off a blast, but that could be anything. Luce is in her costume that we saw in episode 6. I don't know why. It looks like it's just a screenshot from that episode. I'm not going to lie. It just looks like a screenshot from that episode. Uh, then she's running on the roofs with the same outfit. Rain is like evil to eye in one of them, which I need to find it and show you. But anyways, according to the wiki, it's the 13th episode. Oh. So in the aftermath of her trip home, Luce takes a darling rescue mi mission during the COVID day parade. So I'm guessing the one with Bellos over Rain Kiki Kimura and that plant lady is the parade, and Luce is trying to save Rain from those two. Yeah. That is my guess. That is the only thing we know about the episode besides the people who are going to be in it, and it's going to be Ida Lil Lilith, and that's it. That's all we have. But from the screenshot, you can tell it's probably go add Rain and Bellows, duh. <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know. Maybe Rain will die like later on in the episodes, or he'll just be a recurring villain from now on. Maybe. I'm just thinking it's not going to be someone we won't think of. I really think who's going to die is we would not think of instantly. It'd be funny if they killed King's dad. It would be, but at the same time, it would be, it feels like what was the thing, um, the character finding the dad trope, where it's either they find their dad and they're forced to leave their dad either because of the plot A, plot B, and plot C coming together, or their dad dies. And I feel like Dana is going to make fun of that trope at some point. I can't remember, uh, anime. Oh my god, what am anime was it? Where it's like, Dad, I finally found you! No, son, you must leave this area. And then he dies. Like You know how little that narrows I it know. down? There's a lot of animes like that. <laughs> Attack on Wait, Titan, I... Jesus. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a way different thing. He, he had been with his dad for a while. There was some character in the show who was like, Hey, I found you! Whoop, boom! And just that person just died. It's like, my plot have finally come for a whole circle. Nope. <laughs> it was for Are you nothing. Sure it was a second? That probably could be a second time. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Then the next episode we know of is uh, Elsewhere and Elsewhen, which sounds like a f uh, time travel thing. And I really think it's the one where we get to see the interminds of Lilith, Li uh, Ida, Rain, and Bellas. Or at least Hunter. Ah, yes. We get to travel back into the past. Because that's what I'm seeing. The young Rain and old, uh, young Ida, young Lilith, and young Bellas. Oh, Maybe there, that's just Hunter under the mask. Uh, there's there's a tiny little problem with that. What? You got you have to look at the you have to look at the colors. The the ones of like the the ones that are like you know the past versions of people like Lilith and Ida are done in normal color scale, which no, no, means no, 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 no. So that those are flashbacks. And the one with Bellos is in a little bit of a purple like so sort that's of like the... past like filter. So if you don't remember in uh, Enter the Window. Or enter the in in inner willow episode, in the inner in willow, which is the main bo body men of willow, was mm. the color of their coven or magic era. I don't fucking know, but it's their essence. They're shaded, but everything else about the world was normal. What I'm saying is that the. One with young Billos in it is probably in a different episode from the other ones, based yeah. off of the colors. This could be true, but you will never know. 
Yeah, that is true. So, after, also, uh, this description for um, Elsewhere, Elsewhere and uh, Elsewhen is, Luce is descript, uh, des- uh, desperate for more informa- information about Philip Whit- Whitebean, the creator of the portal door. With Lilith's help, she gets off a journey for the ages. Mm. And I think this is the episode that is going to show us what happened to Philip and why he became Bellows. And that is the theory that we both had near the end of our uh, interview with each other. Where we yep, both agree Bellows, Bellows related, is, is Philip. Related to Philip. Huh? Oh, well, I, 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 my theory was that he was either Philip or that he was related to Philip. Yeah, that's both of our theories. That either he is Philip, just controlled change, and you know, you know other now i think about it more and more i think about it let me go to you know what is annoying what we don't get to see loose's uh right ear in the screenshots or in the trailer at least Mm, more and more i think about it so, you know how the theory I put out was Bellos was changed by the island because of the magic Oh, no, we see, we, see, we, see her, we see her right here in some of the trailers, the, the one where, like, Bellos... No, 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 like, no not in that crazy. episode what? I'm talking about. That particular episode where she's wearing the jacket. In all the other parts, yeah. But because I said something that... Kind of makes sense if you think about it long enough. Bellos, if Philip stayed on the island and his brother disappeared or went back home and Philip stayed on the island and changed into Bellos, what happened if it's just the island not changing the human body because of its magical energy and Bellos is actually just cursed because he's breathing in this magical force that the human body is not capable of handling and it slowly made his ears pointier and made him more cursedified. And then, like, because I don't see Luce's right ear, probably just because of the animators or just because of the how the animators line the shot up, I'm thinking he is slowly changing. But that's just probably just a crazy theory all into itself. I mean, I don't know. I, I, think, that, I think that man actually... It's probably more accurate to say that maybe Philip isn't Bellos, but Philip is the one who fucked up Bell is the one who fucked up Bellos. It could. Definitely. Uh, you know, Philip and uh, Bellos had a little bit of a tussle and then like Philip was you know wasn't caught lacking that day, so he fucked up Bellos. The, all that we know about Bellos and the human realm is he knows it was quiet. We know that the human world is not quiet. It takes place in modern day uh, 2020 without the uh, pandemic, apparently. Um, So, I do believe that um, Belos is at least from the human realm. Or at least some part of time. I don't know, he's probably, like, seen it and, like, knows about it. That's what I'm saying. Or, again, like, that one theory I came up where he's a descendant of Philip, and, you know, because of an argument in the family, one of them had to, you know, hide the portal, and, you know, Bellos is the one who wants to find it. Oh, yeah, you know, the old hide the portal because Bellos wants to take the fairy heirloom. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, hiding the portal key. So yeah, I, I really do think Bellos and his family just had an argument. And because they had an argument, someone in his family hide the portal and he killed everyone in his family to find the portal, except for Hunter. Yep. Man. Where is it? You just kill everyone and was like, alright, now where's that portal key? Well everyone's dead. He pulled an Anakin Skywalker, okay? Yeah, he killed. Well, he didn't kill them. Master Bella, there are too many of them. <laughs> what have you shot? 
do? <laughs> Have you seen that fan art of Bellus as like a Sith Lord? I have not. Oh, I need to find it and show you one day. It is so good. But no, are you excited for this new uh, season? Or, well, season two? Part two? I am definitely excited. I will uh, attempt to watch it. If I can find a way. You know, my door is always open. That is true. Plus, I think that's – is that after on my birthday? Huh? Is that after on my birthday, the little, like, uh, Owl House new, epi new episodes? On your birthday? Yeah, because my birthday is in, like, five days. When's your birthday? The 18th. Oh, hell, you're right before it, my dude. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, I, I tweeted out about that. How Dana could have posted it f uh, in February the 19th and it would land on my birthday. But no. <laughs> no, Dana, why? No, she picked, she picked me. She picked me. <laughs> you steal all of my content. You steal my face. You steal my ideas. And you use them <laughs> at yours. And yet you put it near this guy's birthday. Uh, she she just likes to better. She just likes to better, you know. <laughs> so where's your face? Oh, you see, like my my face, like she made me look pretty good, so you know I'm Gus. <laughs> You're Gus. Like, like, uh, I can't I can't say too much because Dana won't let me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> By the way, the day I uh, sent you that uh, post about the Owl House. What was it? Uh, yesterday? March 12th? Yeah, mm -hmm. yesterday. That when it was posted, by the way. Yesterday. Morning Mark, before oh. that trailer went up, posted a comic about Hunter going into Hexide. And literally, right after I saw that, the trailer went up. I'm telling you, Morning Mark is on, in Disney. He is part of Disney, I'm telling you. Right now, huh? it'd be one of those uh, coincidences that people like to talk about. Morning, Mark basically posted this story about, or not story, but this comic about how Hunter just infiltrated Hexide and uh, Luke spotted him, even though changing his appearance up a bit. It was so funny. So, wrapping this thing up, Dana. Dana is live right now with uh, the combat of Florida's law. If do you know about that? No. So they implemented a law called "Don't Say Gay." <laughs> they they banned the word "gay." Oh no no no! It's much more than just "Don't say the word gay." It basically tells. Anyone who is trans, uh, gay, or lesbian, basically, you don't exist. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh, damn. Why? Then, and this then, is in Florida? Yeah, Florida. Uh, it came out at the s end of last week, during the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, that Disney... In Florida, supported the governor's choice. So yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that is definitely not good. That is in the realm of not good. And literally everyone has came out and say, "Fuck you, Disney." And literally, Dana is live right now, uh, doing a charity stream for it. And literally, I joined at when they started, and they already reached their goal tenfold, like twice already. Like they had it at I think at 
ten thousand dollars and they're at like a hundred thousand now. Jesus. Yeah. So unlike Disney, this is going to a good cause. That's it really. You got anything to add? Hmm, not really. Not really? Well, thank you for joining me again. Of course, this is probably going to be its separate video and, you know, other stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'll send you a link to Dana's stream if I can find my Twitch now. Again, I, I feel like I'm 50 years old. Don't help me find my Twitch. And I can't help you find your Twitch. Why not? You deleted your Twitch account, Dad. What is a itch account, son? Dad, you deleted your Twitch account after you saw the Twitch thought. <laughs> oh, God damn it. So, there you go. There's her Twitch link. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me, Jaden. No problem.